Hello. <laughs> I knew there was going to be something wrong with the stream. There always has to be something wrong with the stream. But hello, spores. It's so good to see you all again. I'm glad to be back from spring break. Are you all happy to see me? Who, who won the betting for tonight? Who won the betting? I see Victor had six minutes. I was nine minutes. I was nine minutes late. Oh my God. <laughs> so who won the betting pool? <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. Nothing ever goes as smooth as I want it to. But no, my computer was not having a mutiny today. My computer was not having a mutiny. My, um, I don't know. It was just like getting back into the routine, you know? It's been a week, two weeks. It's been two weeks since I've like played VR chat and stream, so I had to get back in the habit. Let me get my chat window up here so that I can see everybody. I want to see everybody's cute chats. Let me see. Let me arrange this for a second. Ooh, I have a big chat window. I was in such a hurry to go live that I completely forgot to set up my chat window. Okay, hello, hi everybody. <laughs> Okay, got streamer bot turned on. Everybody's getting their caps. Hi, Lynx. Hi, Mama Lynx. Oh my gosh, Mama Lynx is watching in the living room tonight. It's so good to have you here. I'm so excited to get Lynx and Mama in the room together. How wonderful. <laughs> I gotta watch my language tonight. <laughs> Mama, I'm so sorry, but I, I kind of have a sailor mouth. I'm so sorry, I have a potty mouth. I tend to be a little raunchy. So I apologize in advance, Mama. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but hello. <laughs> Not to watch it, Tito. <laughs> yes, that Tito says close your eyes. Probably good advice. Nobody should be watching this stream. Nobody should be watching this stream. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Hello, No Hat Pat. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. Yes, Keats, family friendly, that's right. Okay, so, Punk Rock and Robin, where's my weed? What weed? I don't, that's, that's an appropriate use of sus. I did not promise anybody any weed, I think. Yippee. Not at least while I was completely sober enough to remember, but I don't think I promised anybody any weed. I have weeds in my garden. Okay, this is a funny story actually. So, as you know, I've been on spring break for the last week and a half, and I just got back last night. It was dark when I got back. I pulled into my driveway, like, at 11 p.m., 10 p.m., something like that. And I was, like, inspecting my garden, because as I mentioned to you guys before, I just planted a massive planting in my front yard. I put so many beautiful perennials that I can't wait for them to grow and bloom. Um, but like when I left, they were all babies and they hadn't grown at all. They didn't have any like shoots or flowers or buds on them or anything. And so I came back last night at, at when it was completely dark and I, I like studied them. I was like, can I see anything here? Is there any growth? Are there any flowers? Is there anything here to look at? Are my plants growing or are they dying? And this morning, the first thing I did when it was light outside and I woke up, I ran outside and I looked at my plants. And they're beautiful! They're getting bigger. They have new growth. One of the bushes that I planted many years ago that I thought might might be dead this year is actually blooming again. It's got like green leaves all over it. It's got green shoots. I'm so excited. Um, but there are weeds everywhere. <laughs> and I weeded the shit out of this garden. You have no idea. I had blisters on my hands. I weeded the shit out of this garden before I planted everything. I was out there with a hoe. I've never hoed before. Not in that way. I've never hoed before. I was out there when I was doing these plantings. I was out there with a the frickin' hoe, going like this, ripping all the weeds up, okay? Before I put the plantings in. And they're back! They're back already! How is it possible? I hate gardening. I don't think it's fun anymore. I was so excited to be a gardener, to be like a cute little gardener and have my little sun hat and do my little gardening. I don't think I like it anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's too many weeds. <laughs> Keats do not count my swears. Listen, I like Mama. Mama has a sense of humor. She's okay. She's okay with it, all right? This is a family affair. The whole family likes swearing. Okay. All right. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> now we're just being about gilly hoeing around. Oh, I hoed that garden. I hoed the shit out of that garden. 
No, I can't grow weed. I'm not in a state where it's legal to grow weed. Okay? And maybe I'm doxing myself, but not really, because in most states, it's still not legal to grow weed. Not, and, and even if it was, listen, even if it was, or even if it wasn't and I was going to grow weed anyway, I wouldn't do it in my front yard directly in front of my house in full view of the street, right? <laughs> That's a really bad strategy, guys. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> so anyway, now that we're done talking about weed, I, would, I did want to share how beautiful my garden is. It's not, it's, well, beautiful is kind of a stretch. It's not beautiful yet. It's it's just it's coming in. It's coming in and I'm excited about it. So, okay. User Kun asks, "What do I think about the new YouTube UI?" Well, what new YouTube UI? <laughs> Did it happen in the last week and a half because I haven't uh, I haven't had a chance to check out YouTube while I was on vacation. So, I don't know. What what's new about the YouTube UI? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> Thank you, Victor. It's a decent garden. Yes, it's a decent garden. Plants are overrated. Oh, and fungus is where it's at. If I grew fungus, if I welcomed fungus into my garden, it would cover everything. And I want to have all sorts of beautiful plants, Bruh. okay? I want to have flowers. I want to have bushes. I have a tea olive plant in my front yard. It smells incredible. I love fungus, don't get me wrong, but a whole garden would be overrun with fungus and nothing else would grow. There would be no flowers. So. <laughs> Alright, okay. Mushrooms on top of everything. Yes, Tito. <laughs> Mushrooms on top of everything. <sighs> Wait. You're talking about those mushrooms? I'm so slow, I'm sorry. No, I don't grow those mushrooms either, although I should. They're very easy to grow inside. You can grow them in like a shoebox. Anyway, family-friendly stream, okay? Family-friendly. This is not family-friendly. <laughs> Hi, Isaac. Oi, oi, first time here. You came at a great time, Isaac, because I'm just about to change the subject. Hi, Isaac. It's so great to see you here. Welcome, welcome. I hope you have lots of fun. Are fungi welcomed on the bread? Not, I mean, only if you leave it on the counter for too long. <laughs> fungi, you need, you need fungus to make bread actually. Most bread is yeast risen, and guess what? Yeast is a fungus. Huh? It's, it provides the air bubbles needed to make bread rise and make it soft and squishy, right? So what yeast does is it eats the sugar um, in the bread. Usually you bloom yeast when you make bread by adding a little bit of sugar and warm water to it. So the yeast starts to get bubbly, right? And it's eating that sugar and turning it into air bubbles. And the releasing of the air bubbles is what makes the bread puffy. Have you ever wondered why bread has that texture? Like, you know, that kind of like, you know, how do you even describe it? Just like tiny, tiny, tiny pockets of bubbles, right? That's why, it's yeast, it's fungus. Fungus makes your bread delicious and tastes good and it makes it soft and chewy. So yeah, you're eating fungus every time you eat bread. <sighs> okay, but the fungus is Tito. <laughs> Tito is always taking this in the least family-friendly direction. <laughs> Rain, you like that I'm being so animated? I didn't know I was going to be so high energy tonight. I actually, I am exhausted from the trip. I drove, I think, over 2,000 miles, not on my own, but, like, it was so much traveling. It was crazy. My spring break, I went to multiple cities. I'm not going to dox myself by saying where I went, but I will say that I drove a lot. It was exhausting, and I got home last night exhausted, and today I've just been, like, headaches and low energy and I was like you know I got the stream's gotta go on I really want to see everybody I'm so excited to spend time with my favorite spores the show's gotta go on I'm just gonna do it tired but as soon as I suited up and went live I was like okay we're gonna talk about fungus we're gonna talk about weed I don't know there's just something about being here together with all of you that gives me energy so <laughs> thank you <laughs> Yes, mushroom trip, exactly. Did I come to Virginia, Darkfire? I did not come to Virginia. I did not go to Virginia. Um, 
I could have. No, probably not. I think Virginia would have been too far out of my way. I will say, who saw the eclipse? Because most of my, like half of my trip was dedicated to seeing the eclipse. And the path of totality. Yo, thank you for joining the spores, Tucker. Hey, welcome. Welcome, Tucker's a new spore. Everybody say welcome. Okay, so the the eclipse, right? The eclipse. <laughs> Josh, you says stop doxing yourself. Okay, fine. I'll stop doxing myself. You don't tell me what to do, Joshy. Okay, Joshy does tell me what to do. That's what all good producers do. Okay, so path of totality, right? So if anybody hasn't heard about the eclipse that happened on Monday, it was a total annular eclipse, which means that the sun covered up the uh, sun covered up. The moon moved in front of the sun and covered it up completely, completely, so that it cast a perfect shadow onto the earth. The people who were standing in the moon's shadow and looked up at the sun would see nothing but a ring of light, an, an aura around where the moon was hiding the sun. And so that moment is called totality, and, the, and it's in a very specific geographic path, right? You can't just see the totality everywhere. You have to be in the shadow of the moon. So it, it's a very narrow path. And it went across the United States from like Texas-ish all the way up to Maine. This way. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like doing a reverse of myself. This way. So it's like from Texas all the way up to Maine. And in that path of totality, you get to see the full effect of the eclipse. And so in 2017, a similar eclipse happened, a, an annular eclipse. And I didn't see it. I wasn't in the path of totality. I don't, didn't live in the path of totality. I didn't travel for it. And then everybody was talking about it. I saw these amazing pictures. I saw everybody like gushing about how it was otherworldly and so incredible and the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And, and I vowed, in 2017, I vowed that I was going to see this one in 2024 because this one is the last one that's going to happen until, or in North America until 2045, right? The next one's gonna happen in 21 years. And so I was like, I mean, I could wait another 21 years, but I could get hit by a bus, you know? Like, maybe I won't be able to see it in 21 years, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this time, no matter what, right? Hi, Peaches! Welcome! Hi, Peaches! Good to see you! Okay. You saw it on YouTube, Darkfire? It, I bet you saw some really cool images, because NASA was posted up at, at like, every city within the totality, the line of totality. And they were taking images and doing all sorts of stuff. Apparently, there's a lot of cool research you can do during an eclipse to learn more about the moon. I don't know. Um, but <laughs> thank you for the gift membership, Joshi. Thank you for the gift sub. Yay. Who got it? Yo, no hat pack. Congrats. Congrats on your membership. Welcome. You're now a sporter. Congrats. Hi, Sheena. Thank you for the $6.99. Six I missed you too. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I missed you all so much while I was gone. I'm so glad to be back. But hi, Sheena. And thank you so much for the $6.99. <sighs> okay. Yes, Owen. I still have my vision. So that's the thing. So I, I was hell bent on seeing the eclipse this time. And so I drove all over the goddamn country. I, I drove to one city first that unfortunately had cloud cover on the day of the totality. And so I was there and I was I was there like a couple days before the eclipse and I was checking the weather like neurotically, like looking at my phone like, oh God, it says it's gonna be cloudy. And every day the weather forecast got worse. Like, oh God, now it's gonna be raining. Oh, now it says thunderstorms. And so the weather forecast just got worse and worse and worse. And I remember, I vowed, I vowed that I was going to see this eclipse. And remember, the next one's not going to be for 21 years, okay? So I was like, you know what? 
Let's cancel the hotel room that we're currently in. We're gonna book the last room, the last room at like the Holiday Inn in some other city that has a better forecast for Monday. We drove nine hours, okay? Because I was gonna see this eclipse. I wasn't missing it for anything. And it was crazy. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. At everybody in 2017, everybody who said that it was like life changing and the coolest thing ever and surreal and unbelievable, they were absolutely right. They were 100% right. I saw it and it was mind blowing. It was mind blowing. It was so cool. It was unbelievable. And yes, I still have my vision. Thankfully, I, I was a good girl and I wore my eclipse glasses and I only took them off during the totality and then I put them right back on after it was over. So still hopefully have my vision, not going blind today. Hi, Kisma. Good to see you. I'm having a wonderful night. It's so good to be back with everybody. Hi, Junker. Hi, Junker. Good to see you, too. I'm so glad everybody's here. Hi, Sai. You took a pic when it looked like a smile. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really, it looked like if you look at it through the glasses and you, you just see the crescent of the sun, like it looks like the moon. It was really neat. And then it got smaller and smaller and smaller until it just poof disappeared. It was amazing. It was so amazing. <laughs> Vin, hey, do I feel like my life has changed substantially? Um, I mean, I'm still the same me. And so I guess my life hasn't changed substantially. Uh, but it was just an unbelievably cool experience. I thought, after it was over, I thought about, like, what it must have been like, a, you know, a thousand years ago, two thousand, three thousand years ago, when humans didn't have science to explain eclipses, and they were just sort of, like, foraging and gathering and hunting, and all of a sudden, just like the world goes completely dark and the sun disappears. I was just thinking about like what that experience must have been like, right? Because what that that would just that would have substantially changed their life, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you had absolutely no explanation for it and just happened suddenly, you weren't prepared for it, and then all of a sudden, in the middle of the day, the sun just disappears from the sky. That's life-changing. I thought about that, yeah. Sai, you got superpowers? Nice. <laughs> you got superpowers from the eclipse. What superpower did it give you? Did it give you, like, laser eyes? I feel like it could be, like, um... Oh my god, Cyclops from the X-Men, like... Where your eyes transformed from looking at the eclipse, and now you, if when, and whenever you look at people with your bare eyes, you burn them with your lasers. That would be kind of cool, actually. I mean, not like not burning people, but having laser eyes would be kind of cool. Yeah, Nicholas, that's what I'm saying. They all thought the end of the world was coming. <laughs> Sun disappears from the sky one day, the source of all our light and warmth, and like the thing we practically worship as being God. Oh, it's just gone. Wow, okay, shit, we're all gonna die. I'm sorry, Owen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rub it in for the people who couldn't see it. It's, it was important to me. I'll just, I'll say that it was important to me. It doesn't have to be important to everybody. It doesn't have to be everybody's priority to see the eclipse, but it was my priority to see the eclipse. And I just wanted to share with everybody that I lived out a dream that I've had for the last seven years. So, it was so awesome. <laughs> you just scream at the sun. <laughs> Rain Dasher, you hope I took my wonderful mushroom daughter? I actually did. I actually did. I, um, I loaded up that mushroom game we were playing last week, the one where we raise a mushroom daughter. I loaded it up onto my, uh, my stream deck, which which many of you were so generous to buy for me over Christmas. I put the game on my stream deck and then I raised like five or six more mushroom daughters. And it, that was a real good way to pass the time in the car, I'll tell you. Path of Totality sounds like a video game. Yippee! It does kind of sound like a video game. Keats, there's no way the swear count is at just four. It has to be way higher than four at some at this point. I feel like I've just been busting out swears, but maybe not. Maybe I've been keeping it family friendly. <laughs> Penny did have a great time. 
Thank you for asking, Rain. She had a great time. Uh, I raised, like, more mushroom daughters. It's so funny because I raised one that turned feral and, like, just went into the forest to live with the wolves or something. I don't <laughs> On some of the paths, I chose just, like, the bad parenting path. And she turned out to just be, like, the worst mushroom girl ever. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Darkfire. Am I in a bed? I am standing in front of a bed. I'm standing in front of a bed. So, there, there is a bed back there. I could... I was thinking about maybe sitting on the bed. But I also kind of wanted to be standing because I get the... I'm like more energetic and mobile when I'm standing, so... I like to do VR chat streams while I'm standing. That's a big ass bed! <laughs> Bean, I think you mean I'm a tiny ass person. It is a big ass bed. Um, I, I'm sure like five or six people could fit on the bed. One big bed. One big bed. I think, like, all of our spores could fit on the bed. This is just the spore family bed now. Everybody on the bed! Come on, everybody! Cuddle up, let's go! Who's in their PJs tonight? <laughs> can you join Robin? Of course you can join. One big bed. We can all snuggle. <laughs> Bean, you're in your PJs. Tito's in your PJs. Good. I'm so glad. You thought I was in a desert, Vinay? Oh, I kind of do look, now that I'm looking at it, it kind of does look a little bit like sand dune. <laughs> no, this is, this is like a little bedroom with stars floating around, and over there's like a night table with some, some treats and some flowers on it. It's just a nice relaxing bedroom. Actually, this is like my VR chat world that I literally always use for everything. I think I've recommended it seven or eight times on stream. It's Chiffon Bedroom. This is the same world that has all of the food, all of the cakes. So play your cards right and maybe I'll feed you some cake tonight. <laughs> Speaking of Sand Dune, have I seen Dune Part 2? No, I haven't. I haven't. When I found out that I couldn't get the popcorn bucket, I was like, nah, fuck that. I don't need to see that movie. I would go for the popcorn bucket. I just want the bucket. I want the, the, the TikTok viral popcorn bucket that looks like the... The thing, you know what I'm trying to say. The popcorn bucket with the, you know, when you stick your hand in it, that bucket. <laughs> Make sure you clean it well, thank you. <laughs> no, please explain. Wait, has has you have you not seen the the Dune popcorn bucket? Okay, okay, the Dune popcorn bucket. It's meant to look like the mouth of one of those sandworms. You know in Dune how the giant sandworms come out and like, you know, just like eat, <laughs> swallow everybody and they have these big round mouths with all of the teeth in them, right? So they made... <laughs> Hi, Sheena. Thank you for the 279. <laughs> Sheena wants a cake. Okay, I'll feed some cake in a minute. I need to explain the Dune popcorn bucket to people though. Okay, the Dune popcorn bucket. It looks like the mouth of one of those sandworms, but it has, it's, it, okay, I, I'm just gonna say it, it looks like a pocket pussy, okay? It looks like a pocket pussy. It looks like something you can get off into, okay? But it's, it's, <laughs> Zion, don't, don't act surprised. Everybody should know about the Dune popcorn bucket by now. If I'm the first one telling you about it, that means you are too pure for the internet. You are too good of a person for this stream. You're not frequenting the wrong parts of TikTok. Which... Good. Good for you. <laughs> Diego! No, you joined at the worst time. I'm so sorry, Diego. Uh, okay. Teedler, you thought teeth down there were just a myth? Not in the Dune popcorn bucket. <laughs> they are... I'm not going to talk about Vagina Dentata. You cannot lure me into that, but the Dune Popcorn Bucket. You go in for the popcorn, and you can't even pull the popcorn out. Like, you, once you have it, the teeth, like, stop you from extracting your hand. It's like the whole pickle jar fallacy thing. Like, the popcorn just falls all over the ground. It's terrible. It's just the worst. <sighs> Tito Hush. <laughs> Tito Hush. 
No, good night, Mama Lynx. <laughs> Did Mama Lynx go to bed because I started talking about the vagina dentata popcorn bucket? Goodness. Well, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Lynx. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> no. Tell her I'm so sorry. Lynx, tell her I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. I'm changing the subject again. So, Thales Almeida, great name. The caps thing does. It, it triggers a couple of different things on the stream. So there's yippee, there's sus, there's what, and there's bruh, which are all things yippee! you can redeem with your caps. Yippee! Like that. And that's sus. I'm being very sus. <laughs> I'm, I'm still pretty beat up about mama. I feel really bad about mama. <laughs> we have kids in the house. Bruh. <laughs> Lynx, I'm, I'm just gonna say that one was Bruh. on you, my friend. You know what we do in these streams. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I can't be the gilly you want me to be. Okay. All right, but bruh. <laughs> Hearing caps as a Fallout fan <laughs> makes me climax. Not bottle caps. Although it, I think it is a little bit cute that caps are a currency in a popular game franchise, but like mushroom caps, see? Like mushrooms have caps, get it? Mushroom caps. <laughs> make a, Zion make a 20 minute bruh. apology video. <laughs> Um, I don't think I could make a 20 minute video without swearing and talking about vagina dentata. So that's probably just digging deeper. I, I need to dig out of this hole, not make it deeper. So <sighs> thanks, Moshiki. I appreciate you. I'm Darkfire. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> Google is your friend in this case. Google is your friend. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, Tito. I have to stop. Yes, dentata meaning teeth. Exactly. Dentata means teeth. Okay. All right. All right. Looking forward to seeing the Fallout series for real? Wait, what Fallout series? Are they making Fallout into a show or something? That would be really cool. That would be so cool. Don't make the hole deeper and don't put teeth in it. Robin! That was so funny, but yes, I'm, please, I'm not digging it any deeper. Okay, it's a show now? It's on Prime? Wait, now already? It's on Amazon right now? Okay, I'm gonna watch that. I have, like, a lot of shows that just ended. All of the spring anime season, like, they, they all just ended, you know? Um, or maybe it's the winter season that just ended. I, I was watching like five or six different anime seasons and they all basically reached the last episode at the same time. So now I don't have anything to watch. And so I need recommendations. So I'm, I'll check out Fallout because that would make an amazing show. So I'm excited. <laughs> YouTube, why have you betrayed us? Yes, yeah, so YouTube is placing ads in my streams now, which is kind of great. So if you don't mind, please keep watching until the ads are over. Because I actually make a little I make a couple of cents off of each person who watches each ad, so I appreciate you. However, there's a selection of like YouTube asks if you want to do like conservative ads or like intermediate ads or like really aggressive ads, show lots of ads. And so I was like, you know what, let's do like the least amount of ads for now. I need to ease people into it, right? And I don't want to disrupt my stream too much. Nobody nobody likes that. Um, and then after last two weeks ago, after two weeks ago's stream, I went back and I was able to actually see where YouTube had placed all of the ad breaks. And there were like 20. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had no idea it was going to be that many ads. I tried to select the least amount of ads, but, um, <clears throat> no, it was like, it was like way more than I had ever expected. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, Victor has the YouTube premium, so he doesn't see the ads. That's a good, that's a real good thing. Because for premium members who watch my stream, I also get a couple of cents. So it's not like I'm missing out on the ad revenue. So that's life hack for anybody who doesn't want to see ads on YouTube. Get premium, 
the creators will still earn revenue when you watch their videos and live streams, even though you're not viewing the ads. Because YouTube is great. It's <laughs> the, the profit sharing from YouTube is so much better than Twitch. It's so much better than Twitch. YouTube is great. <sighs> so, your sister gifted you premium, Vinay? That's so awesome. Congrats. You have a nice sister. I hope you, I hope you like said thank you very kindly to your sister because that's a nice gift. Lynx, you're without YouTube premium. I'm sure that feels terrible. <laughs> Every time you see like 60 seconds worth of ads, I'm sure that feels terrible. I'm so sad. I'm, so, I'm sorry for you. But, okay. Gilly maybe pauses her cool story. Somebody, so here's the weird thing about the ads though. You, YouTube shill maybe, but okay. Here's the weird thing about the ads. Not everybody sees the ads at the same time. So I can't be like, oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna take a 30 second break and drink my water. Um, because some people are still with me and other people are seeing ads. So, <laughs> unfortunately, if I paused my cool story, that would just be awkward for the folks who are still watching. But do stories pay revenue? Stories? I don't think YouTube has stories. If you mean shorts, like, you know, like TikToks, do do YouTube shorts pay revenue? Yes, they do. They sure do. Um, you know how when you scroll through your shorts feed, every like 9th or 10th video is an ad, like it's a sponsored video? So those, the there's like some, I don't know exactly how this works. But if you if your channel is monetized and your shorts are whatever they they qualify, then um, you do get a percentage. You you get some sort of profit sharing from those ads that they show in the shorts feed. So I don't I haven't gotten a payout from it yet, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Dark fire. You want to see me drink water? Oh my god. I think I forgot to fill a water bottle before this. So, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just shooting it straight. I'm just going to the end of the stream. I'm gonna be a dehydrated husk, but I think I'll make it. I don't like water anyway. You know... <laughs> you know I don't like... At this point, you know I don't like water. Isn't shorts like 45, 65 favoring YouTube? Um, I'm not 100% sure because it... It obviously can't show an ad during my short, so it has to be distributed between a lot of different creators, so I'm not 100% sure what the actual like, model for the split is. Um, oh, user can my shorts for your first exposure? Thank you. I'm, I, I put a lot of heart and soul into those shorts. I have actually been making shorts for far longer than I've been streaming. My, um, my two-year anniversary of making shorts for TikTok and, you know, subsequently Instagram and YouTube is coming up shortly. It's actually next Wednesday. It's April 17th. That is my two-year anniversary of the first short I ever posted. Um, but I've been streaming for less than a year. <laughs> so, <laughs> a lot of people's first introduction to me was through my shorts. And shorts are such a great way to get yourself out there if you're a creator, you know? You can, you can like try different creative endeavors. You can tell jokes, you can act out skits, you can say motivational things, you can, you know, just share different parts Ten of yourself from with people. You don't, you're not Be limited nice to, to your tired one self format. And have a good so drink if you're a creator and you're thinking about doing something fun, make shorts, they're hilarious, they're so great. Am I doing a birthday stream? I sure am, Lynx, thank you for asking. I'm thinking about doing, like, a big birthday bash week and having multiple streams. Um, I would love to do a VR chat meetup, too. That would be fun, like a VR chat birthday party. How fun would that be? You could all join me. We could hang out together, play some VR chat billiards. <laughs> it's everybody's favorite game. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think we should do, like, a lot of things next week. It'll be really fun. Thank you for the $10, Rain Dasher. Thank you so much. Be nice to your tired self and have a good drink on me. Okay, I'll drink $10 worth of water for you, Rain. 
<laughs> Ten dollars worth of water would be like, like three gallons. I can't drink ten dollars worth of water. Ten dollars would buy a very nice margarita though. So maybe I'll buy myself a margarita on you. That would be nice. Um, okay. Don't forget to spoil your streamer. Oh, thank you, Tito. I thought that was to me. I was like, what does that mean? Um, but yeah, birthdays. Darkfire, your birthday's on the 12th of April? Well, happy birthday in two days from now. That's so exciting. I hope you do something fun. Maybe you can have a VR chat birthday party with me. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not going to do the margarita song, Tito. But yes. I'm thinking about doing a birthday party. Hi, Lunar Fly! You finally got to join a stream? Well, welcome. I'm so glad that you finally made it. It's nice to see you. Um, <clears throat> now we're having a margarita conversation. Margarita is just zesty water? Wait a second. Wait a second. Margaritas are an art form. It's lime juice. Uh, tequila, of course. Some sort of citrus flavored liqueur. Some people use triple sec. Grand Marnier is popular. And then the rim has to be salted. Has to be a salted rim. You can't drink a margarita without that salted rim. Okay. It's an art form. It's not just zesty water, but. <laughs> Mar they're like. I'm, I'm a kind of a basic person, so margaritas are my drink of choice. And I drink one and then I go, woo! You know, because I'm a white girl. <sighs> grandma supremacy? Who's a grandma? Are you calling me a grandma? I'd be your grandma. Wait, that wasn't a good, very good diss. <laughs> Keats, you don't drink anything other than water and fruit juice? That's good. That's good. That's healthy. That's healthy. Xavier, you've never had a margarita before? Well, are you... First of all, are you of age? There are people here in the stream who are underage, so I'm not going to encourage drinking. There are also people here in the stream who just don't want to drink for health reasons, so. I don't, enc I don't encourage drinking. Drinking's gross. It's bad. It's the worst. <laughs> okay. All right. Your meds make you a lightweight. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, better than just being a lightweight, because you're a lightweight. Which some of us are afflicted with that condition. Oh, good, Xavier. You're overage. Okay. Keats, you're 22 and you just don't want to drink. Good. Good. That's good. Keep that energy. I hope you keep that energy for a long time. <laughs> no, Pikachu. You just got here and you hear underage drinking. Um, they're... Okay. Yeah, I'm not endorsing it. That's... that's you, you heard me... Um, vehemently protesting the idea of underage drinking. I'm not endorsing it. No. <laughs> we always get on the worst tangents. I'm starting to think it's my fault. <laughs> Keats, you'll keep the energy for me. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Lunarfly, you're six billion years old. Wow. That is really old. Uh, you're like older than the universe. Wait, how old is the universe? I think they didn't they figure this out. It's like two billion years old or something. I Don't know now. I'm just making stuff up It's like I read that online somewhere and I just repeated it for the rest of my life And that's how misinformation is born <laughs> Okay, how else do you play Mario Kart Sheena? completely sober that's the right way to play mario kart <laughs> like 11 million <laughs> nicholas it's 11 billion okay i was close 2 billion 11 billion that's only 9 billion years off that was pretty close the universe is 20 24 years old obviously true <clears throat> true drunk mario party Wait, why are we talking about drinking? Okay, hi that dude, Kim. Hello, hello, it's good to see you. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's my fault. I'm starting to think I'm, I'm out of control. I should just like, 
write a list of family-friendly conversations that I can have on stream so that I don't wind up accidentally talking about, like, the Dune popcorn bucket and drinking. <laughs> yes. If you leave me up to my own devices, that's what happens. Appropriate. Appropriate. Yes, if you leave me up to my own devices, that that is what is eventually going to happen. Why is my bed so big? It is real big. It is real big here. Watch. I'm on top of the world! Woo! Now I can do a little bed dance! Da 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 Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm also doing the Cantina song from Star Wars for some reason. <laughs> yeah, my bed's huge. Okay, wait, I can sit down. Sit in my bed. There we go. This is the best way to do the stream. Sitting in my bed. Looking all cozy comfy. That's not bad, actually. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. Let me scoot forward a little bit. Okay. What do we think? What do we think? <laughs> this is now a bed stream. Gilly feet. Yes, you can see my slippers. They're kind of cute, aren't they? Ooh, they're in the bed. I like them. They have bows on them. They're cute. My slippers in real life are not nearly as comfortable. Ah, <sighs> okay, I'm back. That was too far away. I didn't want to be so far away from you guys. Gotta line myself back up now. <sighs> I didn't want to be that far away. <laughs> okay. How was my spring break? Thank you for asking, Gaming Nerd. It was amazing. It was amazing. I traveled all over the country. Oh! Speaking of my spring break, and this is a family-friendly conversation. Ready? Okay. I went to Bucky's for the first time. Never been to a Bucky's before. I don't live anywhere near a Bucky's. But I was driving through parts of the country that have Bucky's. And I stopped at Bucky's not one time, but three times. Because after the first time, I was like, I gotta get back in there. I'm addicted to Bucky's. Who's got a Bucky's, right? Who's got a Who's got a Bucky's near them? Raise your hand. That place is awesome. We got Bucky's supremacy. <laughs> Sheena says, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Bucky's is a rest stop it's a gas station plus rest stop it's the biggest rest stop you could possibly imagine because you know those gas station stores they're usually like you know there's like a couple rows of like cheetos and chips um there's like a coffee there's like a drink dispenser and then they sell like you know cigarettes or whatever it's just they're and they're always the worst they're always the worst they always have disgusting bathrooms they always have like you know, like, one of the stalls is broken down and the other stall is full of toilet paper. And rest stops are usually disgusting, and I hate stopping when I'm on road trips. But enter Bucky's, okay? Bucky's is not, is not your average rest stop. Bucky's is huge. Bucky's is like Walmart sized, okay? Maybe like slightly smaller than Walmart. Bucky's is like a medium sized Target. And it has, it has everything. It has candy, it has food, it has fresh food. It's got vegetables and fruit, apples, pineapples, grapes. It's got yogurt. It's got barbecue sandwiches, freshly made barbecue sandwiches. It's got beef jerky. It's got clothing. You can buy a Bucky's bikini. You can buy a Bucky's blanket. And by the way, Bucky, is a is a beaver is a beaver is bucky a beaver help me out <laughs> i don't actually know what bucky is i'm pretty sure he's a beaver but he's the mascot and he's on everything he's on everything in the store he's on every package of food he's on all of the merchandise you can buy a bucky's cutting board you can buy a bucky's pajama pants you can buy a bucky's stuffy you can buy a Bucky's water bottle, and they all have the beaver on them. But it becomes like, he becomes your best friend. When you're, when you're in Bucky's, he becomes like your comfort and your solace. He's, he's your one true love. You, you like, can't live without Bucky all of a sudden. I genuinely, I didn't buy any Bucky merchandise, but I genuinely found myself 
almost buying a blanket with Bucky's face emblazoned on it. It was so soft and it was beautiful and he's so cute and I just love him so much and I love Bucky's. But <laughs> Bucky's is so great. So I stopped at three different Bucky's on this vacation. Three different Bucky's, all different. Not the same Bucky. It was all, all different because I drove, remember, I drove every goddamn place everywhere. And <laughs> Bucky's bikini sponsored stream when <laughs> Bucky's if you're out there. Um, no, okay, wait. So, I almost bought something with Bucky on it. I stopped at three different Bucky's because after the first one, I couldn't get enough. I was like, anytime I was driving, and I saw Bucky, so I was like, this is where we stop. This is where we get food. <laughs> it's so good, though. Oh, I should have taken a photo. You're right, Tito. Oh, my God. Every, every Bucky's also, this is kind of amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Every Bucky's is exactly the same. Exactly the same. Same store layout, same merchandise. Same exterior, exactly the same. So all three, all three of these completely separate Bucky's had this bronze statue of Bucky the Beaver in front of the door and exactly the same store. It was like I hadn't traveled anywhere. It was like I was in the same place, miraculously. But, <laughs> but like the bronze statue is just so ridiculous. Bucky's has become this, like, cult leader, almost. He's just so, uh, he's, he's ubiquitous. He's everywhere. He's omnipresent. He knows what we're all thinking. He's Santa Claus. He's everything. <sighs> Can me and Bucky just get a room already? I wish, Owen. I wish. Bucky wouldn't settle for someone like me. Bucky only dates supermodels. <laughs> Bucky only... Bucky only dates, like, Giselle Bunchen get, like, quality supermodels. All right. You wouldn't settle for me. It is a cult, though, Darkfire. It is a cult. And it's cult like also because I mentioned the barbecue sandwiches before, right? So in the middle of the store, they have barbecue sandwiches. Uh, but they have, like, people chopping up the barbecue. And they're constantly, like, smoking the brisket or whatever. And they... they they cut it right in the middle of the store where everybody can see it and smell it. And they shout this bizarre chant when they slap the meat down on the board. <laughs> I like talking about this. They slap the brisket down on the board and they yell, brisket on the board. And then there's like 10 other people around like preparing the sandwiches and they all yell back, brisket on the board. And it's this ritual. It happens like once every five minutes because he's just constantly cutting the brisket and making sandwiches and people keep eating the barbecue and like brisket on the board like constantly while you're walking around the store shopping brisket on the board and oh my god <laughs> so that's how my vacation was <laughs> that's that's how my vacation was. Bucky gives micro vibes TVH. Yeah, kind of. That's why he wants his face on everything. It's, it's like a, he. It's if he drove a car, it would be like a Hummer. <sighs> okay, Nicholas never put someone on a pedestal. Okay, I will. I won't put Bucky on a pedestal. What if he's a fictional character? <laughs> Can I put fictional characters on the pedestal? Appropriate, appropriate use of sauce. Sort of like the McRib user con? Nothing, nothing like the McRib. Nothing like the McRib. The McRib isn't even real. The McRib doesn't exist. The McRib Bruh. is like extruded meat foam pumped into like a mold that looks like ribs so that you think it's ribs. <sighs> Brisket on the board. <laughs> he onboards you as the newest Bucky's employee ASMR. <laughs> they would have to sponsor me for that one, Rain Dasher, but I would do it. I love that. I'm sorry, Bean, if I made you crave barbecue. This is so, this is, yeah. 
So that's Bucky's. Anyway, I joined a cult, and now I'm married to a, a beaver, uh, along with 2,000 other women. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Moshiki, you want uppies? Sure, you can have uppies. Here you go, Moshiki. Ready? Up? Then, I don't know, I'm looking at the camera to see if this is working. It's not really working. Okay, ready? Uppies! Here you go, Moshiki. <laughs> oh, wait, what, what if I try this? What if I... Okay, this might work. What if I go down? Ready? Yes! That looks like uppies! That looks like uppies! Okay, here you go, Moshiki. Uppies for you! <laughs> <laughs> that actually worked pretty well. <sighs> yes. Um, okay. Why are we talking about guns? Skipping that part. Joined a cult during an eclipse. Yes, that's our much mommy. <laughs> I did join a, a cult during an eclipse. Um, did you hear that, like, thousands of people got married during the eclipse? Like, that was a big thing. 27 Brazilian key ice and 90 centavos <laughs> from Cape Zavier. <laughs> Thank you so much I for the 2790, which in a good I think way. is around $5. You Thank you so much for the $5 US. You notice that I'm very cultured in a good way. Am I a scientist? <laughs> I'm not a scientist. I'm just a know-it-all. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you asking. I'm, I may have missed a joke there. <laughs> Is there is there a double meaning of scientist? Like science team? Am I on the science team? Hell yeah, I'm science team. Um I'm but if I'm not if you if I uh, if you need to clarify your question, go ahead, because I may have missed the joke. But yeah, like thousands of people got married during the eclipse, which I it was really cool actually. Like imagine your wedding photos. You and your, like, spouse are all dressed up in your wedding finest and, like, in the background of your wedding photo is, like, the totality and it just looks like this gorgeous ring of light. How cool would that be? And very symbolic, too. Part of the eclipse is called the, um, the, the diamond ring. And it happens when the moon is just moving out of covering, completely covering up the sun. And that moment, that split second moment, when the beginning of the sun's light starts to peek out from the tiny point, and it like, and it shoots out in this amazing glow, it looks like a ring from the eclipse, plus this like brilliant diamond that's shining out from that spot. And that's why they call it the diamond ring. And so I think like, how cool is that? Like. You got married with, uh, I, I mean, diamond rings are like the symbol of marriage. I'm not going to say that I endorse diamond rings because I think diamonds in the diamond industry are kind of stupid. But, um, but like the symbolism of getting married under the diamond ring. Like, how cool is that, right? That's really cool. <clears throat> Joshi, that is pretty funny. Imagine getting married on the eclipse. And being smug about it just to have some other couple be like, we did too. And a third couple, we did too. Uh, <laughs> rain? <laughs> Am I slurring? Come on, I'm not slurring. The mismatched eye blinks and the slurring is making this seem like Gilly is trying not to be the first person who falls asleep. Uh, should I? Okay, should I go to bed? Maybe I should go to bed. The mismatched eye blinks are from the headset. Yeah, so you see when I like close my eyes, they're closing evenly, but one of them closes more than the other. That's because I have to calibrate my headset. Um, sometimes the eye tracking gets a little bit out of whack. Uh, <laughs> I generally don't want my eyes to blink unevenly, so I used to have some measures in place to make them blink evenly. But it prevented me from being able to wink, right? If you link the eyelids together, you can't wink. And so, like, I was like, okay, would I rather have perfect blinking eyes and not be able to wink? Or would I rather be able to wink but look drunk half of the time? And so at the moment, I'm in the drunk but winking camp. So there you go. <laughs> Maybe I really did have a margarita. I'm not slurring, though, Rain Dasher. 
I, please tell me I'm not slow. Do I sound like I'm falling asleep? I'm sorry. I think I'm just talking really fast. I'll slow down. I'll slow down. But if I slow down, somebody's gonna call me a grandma. Because the older, the, the like older you are, the slower you talk. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> or that's the stereotype at least. And so I don't want to slow down so much that people are like, Gilly, are you old? Okay. Give Sheen a cake. All right. It's time. It's time for the cake. Okay. All right. But that always involves moving the camera. So, Boing. let's go. Let's go to the cake. Let's go to the cake. All right. Here's the cake table. Ta-da! Now I gotta bring the camera in. Ta-da! That's not bad. Okay. All right, Sheena. What flavor of cake would you like? <laughs> I have chocolate, lemon, fruit cheesecake. Um, I have strawberry shortcake. I have roll cake. And I have chocolate frosted cupcakes. All for you, Sheena. All for you, my darling. <laughs> That's right, Sheena paid for the cake. Bean, I don't know if it's a Christmas tree or if it's like a Valentine's tree. Like, you know, there are people who just keep their tree up year round and decorate it for different holidays. So after Christmas, it becomes the Valentine's Day tree. And then after Valentine's, it becomes the mm, Memorial Day tree. I don't know what's after Valentine's. Memorial Day tree. And then it's the Independence Day tree. So I'm going to choose to imagine that this is the uh, Valentine's Day tree. So yeah. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. So I forgot St. Patrick's Day. You're right, Darkfire. The Easter tree. <laughs> The President's Day Tree, the Earth Day Tree. Wait, Earth Day Tree actually makes sense. It's just a tree. There's also Arbor Day. I don't know when Arbor Day is, but Arbor Day is literally tree day, so that works perfectly. Okay, all right. Sheena, surprise me. You have good taste. Okay, Sheena. I will surprise you. Uh, let's see. Let's get a fork. Because I think I need a fork. To get the cake. Can I just pick up the cake? No. This is the hardest part, is picking up the fork. <laughs> I don't know why the hitbox for the forks are so small. Pray for me. Wow, oh, got it. Haha, -ha, I got a fork. I got a fork. Okay, let's see. What's the best cake for Sheena? I think Sheena would like a Mia Foya cake. <laughs> the cake of a thousand layers. Do you know what this is? So this is this is a, a Mia Foya cake, which is made by layering 50 or <laughs> however many crepes you have patience for, but layering this many crepes with a very, very thin layer of cream in between. And they're super delicate and delicious and wonderful. So I, this is perfect for you, Sheena. Here you go. All right, ready? Here comes the airplane. Um, <laughs> there you go, Sheena. <laughs> Cake for you. <laughs> so it's an onion, basically. I mean, okay, you can think of it as having layers, like an onion. Shrek reference. But yeah. That is essentially, it's, it's a cake with like thousands of layers. Not thousands, but... <laughs> that was a big bite. <laughs> yeah, Vinay, you gotta have the whole cake in one bite in this world. There's no, you can't just like take smaller bites of it. The whole thing disappears at once, ready? Oh. Hi, <laughs> Colts. Don't worry, <laughs> you're late, you forgot. You joined You joined at the moment that I started feeding cake, so you're here at the perfect time. You're gifting a sub for cake, Joshi? Thank you. Thank you, appreciate you. <sighs> Christia, what a good choice. Yeah, it's delicious. It's delicious. Yay, thank you for the gifted, Joshi. Appreciate it. 
Oh, Pinkachu! Congrats! Pinkachu got a member. Okay, well, congratulations on becoming a sporter, Pinkachu. And Joshi, in return for the gift, what cake would you like? <laughs> this doesn't really have to be a feeding stream, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Hajime! Good to see you. Hello, how are you doing tonight? You want gilly cake? Gilly cake is not on the table. Yet. There we go. Now gilly cake is on the table. <laughs> oh no, I just knocked something over. Okay, here comes here comes your cake, Joshi. It's roll cake. Cream filled, just the way you like it. Ready? Open up. Um, <laughs> Colt, thank you so much for the ten dollars. <laughs> hey Colt, I know you love to eat cake, so what what cake would you like? You can get two, three, maybe even four pieces for your ten. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the tip. <laughs> cool. Big ten, let's go. Oh yes, user cun, we being fed good for real love the family friendly stuff. Feeding is family friendly. Listen, moms feed babies all the time. That's like legitimately family activity. You'll let the mushroom pick, Colt? Okay. Well, let's see. If I walk over here, I can get you the strawberry shortcake. I remember from last time you liked the strawberry shortcake. So here we go, Colt. Open up. <laughs> Links. No, I'm not gonna become a full-time cake feeding streamer. <laughs> I'm gonna feed other stuff too. It doesn't have to just be cake. It can be grapes or um, what other stuff do people like to feed each other? <laughs> strawberries, strawberries. Um. Mmm. Pizza? <laughs> steak? <laughs> Victor. That's right, I can feed you steak. I can feed you mushrooms. I can feed you all sorts of stuff. Okay. Feed me pizza? <laughs> I don't have pizza in this world, but I'm gonna keep feeding Wiz. Alright, we'll get we'll get a fruity fruit covered cheesecake going in here. I think that's a good one. Where's my camera? Okay. Alright, here we go, Colt. Here's another one for you. Say ah. <laughs> you can eat the fork. I don't think you can eat the fork, Vinay. <laughs> Alright, one more for Colt. Let's do oh this looks so cute. This is a this is a cream puff filled with fruit. This reminds me of that sh that anime Mashal who's watching Mashal. Okay, ready, Colt. Here comes your cream puff. Say ah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for the ten dollars, Colt. <laughs> POV Gilly, the camera is just covered in the stuff cake. <laughs> I'm aiming slightly below the camera because that's where I kind of imagine like if your eyes are the camera That's kind of where I imagine your mouth is but it all I also admit that it looks like I'm stabbing you in the throat So I apologize <laughs> Aki seeing this makes me happy. I'm so I'm so happy to hear that <laughs> It's your girl Uwu might have my favorite comment of the night though cream puff filled with the fruit same <laughs> Okay, but Mashal though, right? Mashal is peak anime, Joshi. It's so good. It's, it's really funny. And if anybody is like, what the fuck is Mashal and why is she talking about it? It's a world in which everybody is born with magic. And if you're not born with magic, then $5 you're like from eradicated. And I think I you know what I mean by that. My dad but and I want cake as this well. one kid, little baby, is born without magic, and he's like, you know, like left on the on the street by his parents because his parents don't want a baby with no magic. And a guy finds him and decides to raise him as his own, but like, I'll hide him in the woods so that nobody knows there's this baby without magic. 
but he also teaches the boy to like lift weights and like practice martial arts and become incredibly strong. And so he accomplishes. Oh, everybody's got ads right now. Okay, I'll stop talking about mash. I'll eat some cake. I'll just eat cake while I wait. Okay, ads should be over by now. So Mashal is the kid and he grows up to be like incredibly strong and a super good fighter. Five dollars uh, from Ray I and eight. Here's First what it has to do with cream you puffs on the street. is that he's his I've favorite seen your food Insta is cream reels puffs, and YouTube shorts. And he's like You're very, very funny and um, entertaining. Like nice he's got like a one track you. mind and he's just always thinking about cream puffs at all times. And so he's like this super muscle bound fighter guy, but constantly thinking about and eating cream puffs. It's adorable. So yeah, it's like, do you know that's such a good comparison? It's like if you put Rock Lee in Hogwarts and all he could think about is, uh, is cream puffs. But I have a couple of super chats to address, so hold on a second. Moshiki says, I remembered I have $5 my dad owed me and I want cake as well. Okay, Moshiki, what cake would you like? I am here to feed you some cake. What flavors are there? There are chocolate. There's Mia Foya. There's fruit cheesecake. There's strawberry shortcake, I guess is what that is. There's a roll cake. And there's a chocolate cupcake. And there's a cream puff. So there's lots of choices. And Ray Ayanami, thank you so much for the $5. First time seeing me on a stream. You've seen my Insta Reel and YouTube shorts. I'm very funny and entertaining. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you too. And thank you so much for the $5. I'm very flattered. I'm glad you enjoy my shorts. <laughs> it seems I apologize in advance because it seems like whenever I talk for longer than 45 seconds, it always devolves into something extremely degenerate. So I'm, I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Zion, I'm not gonna step on cake tonight. <laughs> Maybe I will. Depends how much money you have. But that was a, that was a special. That was a special that I did. I think for <laughs> who, whose cake did I step on? I think it was Lynx. <laughs> okay, Moshiki wants Gilly cake. All right, I decided that Gilly is chocolate cake. All right, Moshiki, you ready? Say ah. Ah. <laughs> For four, Joshi, stop! For forty dollars, she'll spit directly in your mouth. Uh, end stream. <laughs> Keats, thank you so much for sporting me. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the sporters. Welcome. It's so good to have you. Also, sporters. Anybody who's been gifted as a membership tonight or has joined um, Sporters get access to exclusive stuff like I posted a 4K Gilly wallpaper a couple weeks ago. Sporters also get early access to videos as well as um, eventually <laughs> when I... Whoa, why are my arms flying away? Eventually, when I start doing more streams per week, like more than once per week, there will be exclusive members-only streams. So thank you for joining the Spores. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, and go go to the um, go to my community tab and look at my posts to get your free wallpaper. Hey, we got another sporter, a fern over there. What a lovely name! I love that name. Welcome to the Sporters. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. The wallpaper is fantastic. You have it for your desktop. Oh, rain! I'm so glad you like it. I have another one coming soon. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's not 4K. It's only 2K, but it's so beautiful. The artist did a really wonderful job. You're gonna love it. It's perfect for summer. It's really beautiful, and it features... Get this. It features my brand new original outfit that was created by our very own Ellen from the Discord. So get excited. That art is gonna drop shortly. It's gonna be an exclusive wallpaper for this borders. I hope you enjoy that as much as you enjoy the one I dropped a couple weeks ago. 
<sighs> yeah, okay, if you just became a member, I'll feed you some cake. Who wants cake? <laughs> Ray cake? <laughs> That's right, for your $5, Ray, would you like some cake? Ray cake? <laughs> um, what, what kind of cake does Ray want? Did they mention? Yes, Keats want cake? Okay. Whoa, Sheena! Mashilo, Thank you Sheena for the two months! Two months of yes, membership. of course, you can Justice have as much cake as you want cake. for the two months. Thank you so much. That's very exciting. Okay, Ray. Let, let's do Ray first. I think they've been waiting the longest. Let's see. For a Ray Ayanami. I, I am an Evangelion fan, so I'm trying to think of, like, what Ray Ayanami would actually like. I feel like... I feel like Ray would be a strawberry shortcake enjoyer. I don't know. I feel like she would be like, what is this? I've never eaten cake before. This is something that humans enjoy, but I've never truly understood the appeal. I'm gonna try it. And then when she bites into it, it would be like, like, like the sun dawning over the horizon. So I feel like the, the strawberry shortcake is very Ray. So here it comes. Ready, Ray? Open up. Say ah. Um. <laughs> Tito said she'd want a sandwich. I don't know where you get that from, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> she would want a sandwich. Okay. All right. Who's next? Who is next? <coughs> we got. I think Keats joined the membership, right? Keats, are you next? <laughs> Let's see. Cake so good she destroys the world's bright lunar. <laughs> um, okay. Keats. Okay, Keats and then Sheena. Okay. Keats, what cake would you like? There's lots of options. There's chocolate, there's cheesecake, there's Mia Foya, there's um, strawberry shortcake, there's roll cake, there's chocolate cupcakes, there's cream puffs. Yes. <laughs> oh, Fern! That's right! Okay. We'll do Keats and then Fern. Also want the strawberry one? Good choice, my friend. Good choice. Strawberry is delicious. Okay, ready? All right, Keats, this is for you. Say ah. Uh, okay, enjoy. That's right, Fern is next. Okay, Fern, if you're still out there listening, what kind of cake would you like? <laughs> or if you don't want cake, that's perfectly fine too. I'm really positive, Aki. Thank you. I appreciate that. I try to stay positive. It's more, you know, like... I, I actually saw kind of a funny TikTok earlier that was like... Uh, I forget exactly how it went, but it was something like, nobody cares if you're miserable, <laughs> so you might as well be positive. And I realized that that's kind of my outlook on life. Like, you might as well... You might as well be happy. Right? You're, you're the only person living your life and experiencing your life. And if you have the choice between being miserable and holding grudges and being negative and complaining, you, the only person that that impacts is you. You have to live that life. You have to be that person and live with those thoughts in your head. And you, do you want that life for yourself? Or do you want positivity in your life and do you want to look at everything with optimism and happiness and see the see the silver lining in everything you have a choice <laughs> you have some people require medication sometimes in order to see the silver linings but you know <sighs> if you have the choice choose happiness hi louie you love my tiktoks thank you so much i appreciate that Okay, I gotta get Fern their cake. Okay, roll cake sounds good. We gotta get some roll cake for Fern. All right, darling, here it comes. Ready? Say, ah. Uh, mm. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> the funniest thing that you guys can't see on screen is that like, after I do the cake, it's literally just falling on the floor. <laughs> There's like a pile, it's like a small pile of cake on the floor directly underneath the camera. <laughs> it's cracking me up for some reason. Yippee! Oh, user con, I'm starting to become your favorite comfort streamer. The vibe is immaculate. 
Wow. I did not know that uh, this, that this would turn around from <laughs> from talking about the Dune popcorn bucket <laughs> all the way to the Vibus Immaculate. I'm so I'm so happy to hear that. <sighs> Don't break the illusion, monster. Sorry, Joshi. <laughs> I think sometimes people like the behind the scenes tour. You want the floor cake, Lunar? <laughs> Floor cake, floor cake. You guys are messed up. This is some weird shit. This is some weird shit, okay? <laughs> well, thank you. It's your girl, Uwu. I appreciate you. Not been here 10 minutes yet and you already love the stream? Well, thank you. I appreciate. Yes, okay, Peaches. Gotta pick a piece of cake and say, ah, you ready for your cake, Peaches? There's chocolate. There's Mia Foya. There's cheese. I believe this is right here. This is cheesecake. There's strawberry shortcake. There's roll cake. There's chocolate cupcakes. And there are cream puffs. <laughs> Get ready for some cake. Peaches gets a cream puff. Rain Dasher, you say that with such authority. Peaches gets a cream puff? Okay. All right. Cream puffs are delicious. Where's the camera? I keep losing the camera. Okay, there it is. Ready. Okay. All right, Peaches, ready? Yeah. Peaches gets two cakes for the fusion. That's right, Peaches should get a dozen cakes. And so did everybody see the amazing illustration that Peaches made of, of me and Joshi doing the Dragon Ball Z fusion and then becoming Gilashi? It was absolutely incredible. Okay, so here comes the cake. Ready, Peaches? Say, ah. Um. <laughs> Enjoy. But yes, it's incredible. <laughs> the art. The art is incredible. If you haven't seen it yet, go to the Discord, or I also posted it on Twitter, so go to the Twitter. It's so funny. It starts with me and Joshi doing this, like the fusion. Ha! And then the second frame is us becoming Yalashi. And it's so epic and awesome. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see. <sighs> Marine, you've been here for four minutes and all you can remember is the tune popcorn bucket. <laughs> well, that's the reputation I think I'll take to my grave. Cause she went live and spent 10 minutes talking about the Dune popcorn bucket. The end. <clears throat> okay. All right. <laughs> Victor, you'd love to see Gilashi as a character. Oh my god! I could totally make a Gilashi avatar. That would be so funny. I could do that. <laughs> oh, if it's okay, may I say I think your model is really pretty. It's your girl. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Of course you may. I always take compliments. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I worked very hard on it. And I work. I continue to work hard on it every day, always making little tweaks to make it better. Changing the physics, the colliders, adding new outfits, tweaking the face tracking. It's a labor of love, but I every time I get a compliment on it, it makes my day. So thank you so much. <laughs> you will literally mew if I say FUMO. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're doing that like mewing thing with like the... No, I don't get that trend. Is that is that what you're talking about? Somebody explain mewing to me. I think uh, there's there was a whole thing on TikTok that I missed. I have absolutely no idea what mewing is. But I've, I've like I saw a couple of videos that that referenced mewing and I was like I have no idea. <laughs> Somebody please explain that to me. <laughs> Hi, Dylan, silly game. You're a newbie who just followed. Well, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Welcome to the spores. It's always good to have new spores. I hope you enjoy your time in the stream. Um, okay, gaming nerd, thank you. It's supposed to give you a better jawline, but it's all medically proven to be BS. <laughs> You know, like, I'm pretty sure 99% of the stuff on TikTok is medically proven to be BS, so I'm not surprised by that at all. But, oh, you can't talk while doing it? 
It's something about getting a chin line and working with chin muscles. Like, so what I've seen, obviously I can't do it with an avatar, but what I've seen is like, that you basically just kind of suck in your, your like, throat. <laughs> just make it look more like cut, you know? It's so weird. It's so funny. I don't understand. What it, does it like change over time? Is it like you're exercising it and making it leaner over time? I have no idea. <laughs> what? Exactly. Exactly. What? While clone. Okay, user con copied and pasted the Wikipedia. I appreciate this. While closing your mouth, you position your tongue so that it stays on the ceiling of your mouth while your jaw is kind of locked in. Okay, I'll try, I'll try that next time. We need a chisel chin ghillie model. No, we don't. No, we do not. No, we don't. <laughs> that would be so funny. Like the like the ultimate Chad guy, you know, like the black and white of the shirtless guy with the like impossibly chiseled jawline and the pecs, you know, that guy. I could I should make a model that's just that guy but with a mushroom. <laughs> Chad Gilly. Giga Chad Gilly! <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh my god, that would be amazing. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I apologize to anybody who tried mewing. Apparently it's a, it's medically bogus. <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> no, Moshiki, not for Orange YouTube. <laughs> I feel like the more I joke about Orange YouTube or Green Twitch, the more people take me seriously and actually think I have those channels. For anybody out there who's wondering, I do not. <laughs> I do not have an Orange YouTube channel. I do not have a green Twitch channel. I am a family-friendly streamer. Family-friendly. As evidenced by the fact <laughs> that Lynx had to shut me down on the living room TV when I was in the middle of a stream because his family was watching. <sighs> what about blue TikTok? What's blue, what's blue TikTok? I don't even know about that one. What's blue TikTok? Bruh. <laughs> you don't know what orange you- Oh, you know about orange YouTube, but what the fuck is green Twitch? Kick. Green Twitch is kick. The- the streaming platform that literally does not care what you stream. It can be straight up porn. It can- you can be completely naked and going at it on kick. And they will- they will not take you down, they will not demonetize you, they will not moderate you. Kick is like the wild west of streaming. I went on the website once just out of fascination. I was like, kind of interesting. <laughs> kind, kind, I would like to know. Yes, thank you for sussing me. I would like to know, like, what goes on here? So I open up Kick. The first 10 streams are all in this, like, genre of house party with a bunch of scantily clad models. And I'm not joking. Literally, house party with a bunch of naked models. It's all, it's always like one guy, one really scummy looking guy. Um, <clears throat> and like just a bunch of girls in bikinis just like walking around, not even doing anything, not dancing, not like hitting a beach ball or like being in a hot tub, not even doing anything, literally just walking around. It's so weird. And they had like 600 people watching the stream. <laughs> so anyway, that's Green Twitch, <laughs> AKA Kick. I will never stream on Kick. It's way too weird for me. I don't want to be associated with the other people streaming on Kick. That's the thing. It could be the best streaming platform in the world. It could have the best technology. It could have the best uptime. It could have the lowest latency. It could be the best in every possible way. But the other clientele, I just don't want to be associated with them. Uh, okay, anyway, so that's what, that's what green Twitch is. <coughs> okay. It's literally just Twitch's website code. They stole Twitch's website? That's wild. I don't doubt it though. I don't, I believe it. 100% I believe it. Call this, don't look behind you. I fell for that once. I fell for that once, Collis, but now I'm holding a fork. And I'm not gonna, not gonna fall for it again. <laughs> 
Yes, thank you, Marine. Only family-friendly popcorn buckets here. Only pop the red and white striped popcorn buckets that say movie theater popcorn on the side. Completely open, no teeth. No teeth, absolutely nothing fuckable. Just the regular popcorn buckets. Only regular popcorn buckets on this stream, baby. <laughs> Don't poke out our eyes. That's, Louis, I feel like every time I feed somebody, I'm like stabbing them in the neck. I'll try, I'll be careful with the fork, but I can't put it down because if I put it down, I'll never be able to pick it up again. Okay, the Star Wars buckets were awesome. There were Star Wars buckets? What were those like? That sounds cool. They were. <laughs> Joshies is open on the top, open on the bottom. <laughs> I guess that's what you do with a traditional popcorn bucket. All right. Okay. All right. For those who think about doing that on the Dune bucket, imagine it. No. <laughs> I got halfway through that comment and then my brain was like, bail out, bail out, don't read that. I'm not going to read that, but that's really funny. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Raisin. You have to go to sleep because of work, but you saw I was live and you wanted to say hi? Thank you so much for dropping in. I appreciate that. Hi, I hope you sleep well. Have a good shift tomorrow at work. Enjoy your day. Um, okay, gaming nerd. If I'm 5'9", how tall would I be in comparison to you? You would be... If I could do math, you'd be... You're, you're 7 inches taller than I am. But, like... I So, I count my height... Oops, I dropped the fork. Okay, I have free hands now. I count my height as being like, if I didn't have a mushroom on my head, I would be eye to eye with a person who's 5'2". The mushroom adds about six inches. So you'd just be able to look over the top of the mushroom. You'd just be able to look over the top of the mushroom. But like my eye level is the eye level of a person who's 5'2". If that makes any sense <laughs> to you. Okay. All right. Good night, Lunar Fly. Thanks for dropping in. It was so much fun to hang out with you. <laughs> Enjoy your popcorn buckets and stretch. <sighs> I'm trying to do better, Lunar Fly. I really am. I'm trying to do better, but there's just something about me. There's something wrong with me, I think. Mm. <laughs> Joshi, stop it. That was a completely innocuous comment, and you're turning it into something bad. You're turning it into something non family friendly. Mushroom adds six inches. That's a good size, I've been told. Yeah, six inches is good. Six inches is perfect. Most people don't want more than six inches. In fact, less than six inches would be fine too. Six inches is perfect. <coughs> okay, adds time. Time to fart. Okay. No, can't do that. <laughs> there are people who aren't on ads. Say alpha ki dark fire. Stop it. I'm, I am curious as to what that sounds like, though. Alpha Kennedy, Alpha Kennedy, Alpha Kennedy. Oh, oh, there's a one. I'm supposed to say the one. <laughs> Alpha Kennedy, Alpha Kennedy, Alpha Kennedy. There you go. She's like my tiny senpai. Oh, thank you. I'm a little senpai. Is the mushroom yummy? Louie, it is not yummy. Louie. Do not eat the mushroom. The mushroom, not only is the mushroom poisonous, it's also bitter. <laughs> Some people would eat it recreationally, but it tastes horrible. So it's more advisable to like dry it and powder it and maybe use it and like bake with it or like make a tea out of it or something. But just eating it straight is actually, actually kind of yuck. So I don't recommend it. All right, good night, Marine. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate your compliment. I hope you sleep well. Sleep well, everybody. But what if eat a fern? Um, do not eat. I mean, if eat, there's, there's a threshold that you cannot eat more than. <laughs> if you eat a small enough amount, you can have a good time. If you eat more than that, you're gonna go to the hospital. There have actually not been any documented cases of people dying from Amanita muscaria toxicity, but it probably could happen. <laughs> it's treatable. Like, I think most people who overdose go to the hospital and they get treated and they recover, but 
I don't re don't recommend it. This is not. Listen, we're not drinking. We're not doing drugs. This is a family friendly stream, everybody. <laughs> Okay, all right, family friendly, back on track. Mmm, mushrooms. All right, who else wants food? <laughs> Link, okay, links, the, I missed the joke. You, you're asking, I don't understand the Alpha Kennedy. There was a one at the end of it, so I was supposed to say Alpha Kennedy one, Alpha Kennedy one, Alpha Kennedy, and it's supposed to sound like I'll fuck any one, I think? Right? I, is that, that's the joke, right? But I forgot the one at the end, so I messed it up. I messed up the joke. I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, Carlos, you put traces of cyanide on the fork? No. Hold on. Let me lick it. Where's my mouth? Okay, I licked the cyanide off. Everybody's gonna be fine now. Everybody's fine. <clears throat> Are my kisses poisonous? No, my kisses aren't poisonous. This part's poisonous, but this part's fine. Okay, <laughs> Marine, you want some cake real quick before you go? Sure. Sure, I'll give Marine some cake. All right, ready? Open up Marine and say, ah. Oh. <laughs> Lunar fly, go to bed. <laughs> Stop popping in. You're only gonna hear stuff that's worse and worse. <clears throat> okay. All right. <laughs> Alpha Kenny buddy. Oh, that would be funny. Okay, Alpha Kenny buddy. I get that. I get that. Alpha Kenny one probably also works, but Alpha Kennedy one. Alpha Kennedy one doesn't. It doesn't quite work. Okay, I get it. I get the joke now. Alpha Kenny buddy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it though. Despite the fact that I just said it like three times. Can you eat the fork? No, Pinkachu, you can't eat the fork. You guys are so weird. Asking me to throw the cake on the floor, asking to eat the fork. Right, good night, Rain Dasher. Turning in early. Good night. Have a, have a good sleep. Sleep well. Get plenty of energy. Have a wonderful day Bruh. tomorrow. Okay. Ooh, Purple Mix has a question for a long time. I love those. Is the mushroom a hat or part of my head? The mushroom is part of my head. Or rather, I think it would be more accurate to say my body is part of a mushroom. <laughs> the way that mushroom girls are made, the way that we're born and the, we emerge from the woods, I guess, we start out as regular mushrooms, just regular mushrooms. Um, but have you heard of a fairy ring? There is a fair, there's a, a phenomenon called a fairy ring where mushrooms grow in the wild in a perfect circle. And the inside of the circle is completely empty and the mushrooms grow in a perfect circle and that's called a fairy ring. And legend has it that fairy rings occur because fairies like to dance in circles in the moonlight. You know, they like hold hands and they dance in a circle and um, where their footsteps go, where they dance, that's where the mushrooms sprout up. And so as a byproduct of this fairy magic energy, the mushrooms in a fairy ring are more likely to tend to occasionally grow up into mushroom girls. And so we gradually grow our mushroom bodies and you know, we, we look like humans, right? Then just the mushroom goes up and up and up and it becomes the thing on top of our head. And that's how a mushroom girl is born. <laughs> so I think it would be more accurate to say that the the body is part of the mushroom rather than is the mushroom part of my body. All right, good night, Christea. Everybody's going to bed. It's a. It actually seems to be a really good time for me to go to bed as well. I am exhausted from my long journey, so I'll go for a couple more minutes and then I'm also going to sign off. Oh, I'm sorry, Collis. It's pronounced Cholis. Say call us one more time and say goodbye to your window privileges. <laughs> Why is it pronounced Cholus if you spell it with a K? That's a really cool name. Is it? I think maybe I don't understand what language it comes from. Cholus is neat though. I was... I, okay. I don't want to say what Collis also is. Collis is, is a word for something else. Um, so I'm glad that your name isn't Collis. I'm glad it's Cholus. Hey, Lexus, you just woke up? Oh no, I was just about to go to sleep. I'm so sorry. 
pitch black? Am I bald under the mushroom? <laughs> I hate this question. Cause like the honest answer kind of is yes, but the truth is that it's not like my head keeps going under there. My head just becomes the mushroom. Like there's, there's not like more skull. It's all just mushroom under there. It's just the solid mushroom. My brain is the entire mushroom. <laughs> so I'm technically, if uh, there's not hair under it, but that doesn't mean I'm bald. So there's your answer. <laughs> there's your answer. Oh, ending the stream. I'm so sorry. It's your girl. Um, I'm not like a super long time streamer. I am like an HBO special. I'm just on for a couple of hours once a week. But you can watch my shorts throughout the week and you can hang out with me on the Discord. Here's a Discord plug. I have a Discord called The Fungal Infection and I'm very active in it. I'm not like those other VTubers who have a Discord and never use it and nobody ever talks in there. I'm very active in the Discord. I love to chat with spores. So if you want more Gilly, feel free to join the fungal infection and chat with me throughout the week until next time. But also, okay, but don't forget my birthday's next week. Next Wednesday is my birthday. Don't forget, we're gonna have special events. We're gonna have special streams. We're gonna have a VR chat meetup. I haven't announced any of this officially yet, so there's no date for it. There's no event for it yet. I'm setting that up. That's gonna be my tomorrow task. <laughs> Tomorrow, keep your eyes peeled for all of the events, all of the plans. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a meg mega major mushroom birthday celebration. <laughs> so look forward to it like I am. It's gonna be a great time. Yippee, yippee, all the yippies, yay. Can I have sushi there at the, at my birthday party? Sure, <laughs> maybe. I'll see if I can find a, a suitable VR chat world with sushi. I actually can't think off the top of my head of any VR chat worlds with sushi. That's a good one. Thank you, Owen. It's actually my second birthday, I think. I'm pretty sure. Is it my third birthday? No, it's my second birthday. I'm two. I'm two. <laughs> I'm going to be two years old. I was so confused for a second. I was like, does he know something I don't know? Did I forget how old I am? I mean, it's possible. Yeah, Lexus, get that headset working. If you have ancient Oculus headsets or whatever, you know, you've got that Quest 2 just sitting in the closet. You haven't used it since Christmas of last year. Dust it off, set it up. We're gonna have a great time. Also, you don't have to have a VR headset to play VR chat. You can just play it on PC in pancake mode as we like to call it, just on a flat screen. It plays like any other first person game. You know, you use the WASD and your mouse to navigate. Works perfectly fine. So even if you don't have a VR headset, you can still hang out in VR chat with us. It's a free game. You can get it on Steam. So you have no excuse for not coming to my birthday party. Everybody here is invited to my birthday party and I hope to see you all there. So, hi, Healer, you're popping in for the tail end. Yes, I am about to sign off. Oh, gosh, sorry, Sheena, careful with the fork. Okay, I'll put the, I'll put the fork down. I'm sorry, I must have stabbed you like 20 times. Vinay, when VTubers have birthday streams, are these actually on their birthday? Um, this is my birthday of, this is more of an anniversary. We decided that my birthday was the anniversary of the day I posted my first TikTok. So on April 17th, two years ago, I uploaded my first TikTok. And so this is gonna be my second birthday. Yippee! But yeah. Okay, all right. Excellent. VR. <laughs> VR chat. We're gonna have special streams. We're gonna have a VR chat meetup. But for now, I'm going to bed because I have to catch up on some sleep after my big spring break adventure. So good night, everyone. I love you all so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. This was so much fun. And I'll see you all next week for the special celebrations. Good night. Good night, everybody.